The disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong has ended years of denial by admitting using performance enhancing drugs. said, but will you apologise to David Walsh? And suddenly I'm just jolted um, awake, fully alert, you know, kind of almost like, Oprah, I can't believe you're bringing me into this. And, and, and Lance looked at her kind of sheepishly and he said, that's a, that, that's a good question. And he said, yes, I will apologise to David. And I kind of now I'm at the edge of my seat and I'm looking at the television and I'm saying, no, you won't, Lance. That's an absolute lie. He was a considerable talent and I was hugely impressed by him, really ambitious, completely driven. So that was my first impression. But of course, that would change radically six years later when Lance came back to the Tour de France in 99 after two years away from his problems with cancer. And the reason why it was regarded as the Tour de Farce was because everywhere French customs or French police looked, they found drugs. And into this world comes Lance Armstrong. He'd never you know, been a contender. He'd never been remotely competitive in the mountains. He hadn't been nearly good enough in time trials. But in 1999, he came in and he, from the first day, he dominated the race. And to me, it just looked really suspicious. And then when you, when you kind of start to peel the onion, Literally, your eyes start to the water with, with rage, with sadness, with the sense that nothing has changed. The headline on the piece in the Sunday Times said, a flawed fairy tale. You know, on reflection, was a, an almost recklessly courageous piece because we had some evidence, but not a huge amount. But what we said, in that piece was that what we need is not acclamation for a new champion, but an investigation as to how he got there. And uh, in all the pieces I've written in my life, that was the most close to anyway, the most uniform reaction that I ever got. The disgraced American cyclist Lance Armstrong has been stripped of all seven of his Tour de France titles and banned from cycling for life. That felt like anticlimactic from my point of view because it had been going on and on and on and on. And the truth was really obvious a long time before this. And suddenly the word was discovering it like it was something new. And to us it was new. This is the bloody oldest story in town. But you know, it, I am really pleased that the truth came out because that was something I never saw happening. I think we really did know each other. So when he said he would apologize to me, I absolutely knew that he, that he wouldn't. And of course he didn't and, and still hasn't done him. And, I, and to be honest, I would, I would never have expected him to. And it's not something I ever wanted.